am Casey Andrews, and in March of 2011, I had the chance of a lifetime to go to India to become one of our conference's first class of mission ambassadors. And it is my privilege this morning to prepare our hearts for our special offering. Following this offering, we will experience one of my absolute favorite moments of annual conference. It is the moment when we see the passing of the mantle from a representative of the retiring class to a representative of the newly commissioned class. I love this moment so much because it is a moment in time when we literally get to see what we sang about earlier. We literally see the faithful spirits moving forward through time in a seamless, unbroken line at the divine calling of our God and Lord. In order to have these faithful ministers for tomorrow, we have to have faithful ministers of today to inspire and help to raise up new ones to take their place. And this is true for every profession, not just the ordained calling. This morning, I'm thinking specifically of doctors, of nurses, and other healthcare professionals. In the country of India, in the northern state of Punjab, there is a little town called Ludhiana. I had never heard of this place before, and until I arrived there, was very sketchy on my pronunciation of it. But I was introduced to the Ludhiana Christian Medical College and Hospital there where the poorest of the poor receive free medical care and attention from people who love them, regardless of their ability to pay and regardless of their religion. This is also a place where medical professionals, phenomenally trained professionals, help to train up new doctors and new nurses. It is to this ministry that we give our offering this morning. Now, to understand the significance of this ministry, you only have to think of the last time you yourself visited a doctor's clinic. Now, for myself, the last time I visited a doctor's office was this past Tuesday at a 10.15 a.m. appointment. I arrived 10 minutes early, checked in, and waited for them to call my name. And I waited. And I waited. And you all know that doctor offices are notoriously known for making us wait. 40 minutes later, they called my name. 20 minutes later, I finally saw the doctor. And I will confess to you that I got a little frustrated with my impatience and with waiting. But in the midst of that, I was reminded of a statistic that I learned while I was in India. That here in America, we have one doctor for approximately every 350 individuals. But in India, there is a shortage and they have one doctor for approximately every 1,700 people. And it's not just the lack of them, but it's also the fact that so many of them are not available to the rural areas. There are individuals in India who will go their entire life without seeing a nurse, without seeing a doctor or a dentist or a physical therapist, because they simply cannot get to one. But thankfully, the Ludhiana CMC has a ministry means to address this. Because not only can people come to their clinic for medical attention, but they send their nurses on foot and on bike out into the communities. And they go door to door, knocking. And anyone who will welcome them in can get a free checkup. Their children can receive medical attention. And they can receive education on things as simple as the food pyramid, proper eating, and ways to prevent malaria and other diseases. And likewise, their dental unit has an RV that they send out into communities and has three dental chairs inside with all the equipment necessary to provide dental services to a community. And they stay there as long as it takes until everyone in that town has had the medical treatment that they need. So this morning, it's our turn to make an offering, to be thankful for the doctors and nurses and dentists that we have and to encourage our brothers and sisters across, across the world to be able to receive the same. So may we give generously to this offering so that we can help them to pass on their mantle, the mantle of health care and the mantle of passing on the healing touch of Jesus Christ.